Guess which one's been more reliable since I've owned them. Well, not the video I uh, want to be making, but TDI here. It ain't turning over for me. Uh, I had uh, driven it two days ago and I went out yesterday to drive it and uh, ran through the typical startup of the glow plugs and uh, she turned over, started no problem, ran for about two seconds. Sound like it dropped two cylinders, two more seconds and then died. Then I tried to crank it over one more time. Uh, immediately after that, I got two, like two rotations maybe. And then um, after that, pretty much the thing has just, even with a 50 amp jump pack, I can't get it to turn over at all. I'm not getting any turnover, just a starter click. So, you know, jumped on the forums and it's a pretty, pretty immediate like explosion of intercooler icing and hydro locking the motor and all these issues, you know, which basically the quick description is that if you drive it when it's really cold, you freeze over your intercooler, potentially freeze the moisture inside of the intercooler. And then if the car sits in like 32 degree weather and that melts down the following startup it just sucks the water into the engine and hydro locks it which is like the most extreme case the other version is it just runs rough for a little bit as it kind of eats up some of the water so you know we're just going to try this is now the morning after the day that it wouldn't start so i'm going to try giving it a start i just brought it in the garage and um just set it up on some uh, ramps and to see if it's slightly warm enough in here to melt things down. I don't even really know. Just burn on the inside. So if I got to work on it, it's not going to be ridiculous. Um, a lot of junk with like the diesel gate warranty and stuff like that. Called to some local dealerships because I've never had a vehicle to warranty and I wasn't sure if this like applied or how that was going to go. And I really didn't get much guidance from them. I got more guidance from like a local uh, import dealer, but either way, I'm going to just kind of see if it'll do any kind of turnover and if not then you know later tonight i'm gonna have to crawl under and pull the belly pan off and pop the intercooler boots off and see if i can see any liquid in there to kind of confirm that maybe it is yes hydro locked um you know if not maybe it was just like the fuel gelled up and then the starter died at the same time i don't really know and i could you know can jump the starter and try to see if I really just have to figure that out before I go anywhere. I don't want to get too far into it. Um, there is like a, a technical service bulletin on this from Volkswagen, but it's kind of a joke. Whether or not it's covered is kind of a joke. What it actually fixes is kind of a joke. And if I don't have to go through the dealer hassle, I'd really like to not go through the dealer hassle. So I'm going to try giving it a start. Gonna do something a little weird during this video, but essentially at some point in time, fixing the Volkswagen, the Jetta, and finishing the shelves here are going to basically cross over in the same video. I gotta wait for this to warm up and uh, I gotta finish the shelves and putting stuff up on them so I can get like kind of a, a finished product for them and, and just got this stuff done, like, just in time to make room for this, so. Get the kerosene heater up in front of the Jetta here so I can start heating everything up and to the best of my ability. It is freezing in the garage, so finding water in it for a hydro lock situ situation is going to be more like finding some ice, but maybe we'll get it hot enough. But And then in the meantime, I guess I'll just be organizing some shelves. <laughs>
This is some packed water. That, that is ice from water. I'm gonna like that. The fact that it's not starting at all? Yeah. Is it possible one of the glow plugs isn't hooked up? Wouldn't matter. Oh. We'll run on compression either way. What's that? I don't know. What's that beeping noise? <laughs> don't know. Wait a minute. You don't know what that buzzer is? No. No either. Is it throwing any codes at all? How hard does it usually start? I only did it like four times. I know, but does it always, does it start hard or does it? Decently, like not violent, but like decent. Well, it would have started by now? Oh yeah, oh. yeah, it would have started by now. Well, do you think it's just cause it's been sitting? Maybe. It's hard to tell if check engines on or not cause you're. If you try giving it, you, know, you don't give it gas, right? Like yeah, I could try. Moment of truth, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't. I don't know. It sounds fine. I don't hear anything weird sounding. Gave it, so I gave it a quarter throttle and started it. It's a steering wheel thing. But, yeah. Wow, you must be happy. I wonder if it was just the intercooler itself was just frozen shut and it was just like vacuum locked. Probably. Which is the other thing. I didn't see a lot of people talk about that, but physics wise, yeah. that kind of makes sense if it, you know, if you're pushing air and you're pulling a vacuum but there's no no airflow right it might just get to a point where it just locks it up i don't know i'd just be glad it's running yeah because i mean it was it wasn't trying before like yeah. anything so <laughs> that right. it out i don't even know i guess i'll just check the oil and yeah i mean is it white smoking at all or nope didn't it did one bit nothing no smoke at all for, for diesel, nothing. All right, so got it running. Gonna try to avoid the issue. Gonna go to Home Depot and grab some aluminum and see if I can make a... Uh, Grill block off. Fancy. Oh, 
I'm considering doing my dashboard like this. That's Hence pretty why cool. I wanted to try. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty cool finish, man. It's, it's almost like scale, like uh, yeah. like fish scales. Yeah. Look at that. Like the lighting on that is so cool. Depending on where you get that angle from. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. Well. I'm gonna put it on. And now we're gonna put it on with zip ties. Yes. <laughs> Right, like, oh. Question now, is, I was just gonna say, I just realized we have Too kind of. We can't take the grill off. I know. Oh, I mean, we can. You can't, well, well, you have to go to the back of the bumper to do it, I believe. Yeah, we're gonna have to think about this. We might have to just preset the zip ties and pull them through as, okay, like a unit, which I don't know if that's possible. It could be pretty difficult. Yes, it can, especially with this many holes. Yeah, if we had like three holes, that would be one thing, but. <laughs> if we did the middle row, is there a way to peel the bottom of the thing out? Like not actually tighten it. You know what I mean? I see. Like just very loosely get the top one set and then go from there. Because we'll have to just run through. And then. These are long enough that we might be able to. We'll just have to start on the end. And just work down from there.